Hey guys, this is Karan Banani from Mobiscrub and we have the Nokia Lumia 925 which just launched in India for a price of 34,500. It's a Windows Phone 8 uh, which is running off a 1.5 GHz dual core processor. At the back you've got an 8.7 megapixel camera and the rear panel is basically polycarbonate plastic but you've got this rubberized matte finish which kind of gives it a very premium feel and it's, it's really a very solid uh, build. The 8.7 megapixel camera is quite a thing of its own and it's got a sixth lens uh, which kind of results into a very very uh, high quality imaging and I'll talk more about it in the video ahead. So you've got all the buttons on the right edge including the, a dedicated camera key, the power and lock key and the volume locker. The left edge is as clean as it could get uh, and so is uh, the bottom edge. It's absolutely clean. On the top you've got the 3.5mm headphone jack, a USB 2.0 data syncing and charging port and a SIM card tray. Considering the price point, the Lumia 925 just offers a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera but it more than compensates by a beautiful uh, build. As you can see the glass kind of pops up a little, the standard Lumia design and I just simply love it. At the back you've got uh, you know, the, the, the speaker grill and it's decently loud, in fact it's louder than most phones, most smartphones that I've used in the same range. Uh, there are two colors, the white and the black, and the white definitely, uh, you know, wins when it comes to elegance and uh, just the sheer look is so beautiful uh, in the white. The black definitely looks slimmer, but uh, hats off to the white, and especially me who is not really fond of white in smartphones, I think this one um, is really great. The screen is a Super AMOLED display, 4.5 inches with a resolution of 768 by 1280 pixels, so it is HD. Now because it is Super AMOLED, uh, you know, you've got very deep blacks and extremely vivid and saturated colors, uh, which may be, you know, suitable for some eyes and some may not even like it. But especially in Nokia, Windows phones, uh, you know, where the where colors are solid, uh, it kind of really blends in and the colors really pop out, so it, it overall I think it just looks great. Uh, the response to touch is amazing, it's really smooth and you know just as you'd expect from a flagship device from Nokia. Now you've got a bunch of preloaded applications and uh, definitely I can't go through all of them but I would certainly take you through camera. So the camera is pretty standard, uh, you know there are not many changes uh, when it comes to the overall uh, application. So the stock application, the camera application is still the same. Uh, you know you've got toggles, good toggles for uh, you know, switching to video or switching the flash. You can just tap and it starts recording. Um, it does record 720p as well as full HD 1080p videos. And you can obviously go into settings and you can, you know, uh, kind of change all of that. Then you can obviously apply filters, various scene modes and shooting modes, uh, change the aspect ratio, white balance. So depending upon the lighting conditions, you can keep changing, um, you know, your uh, shooting modes. Apart from that, uh, the Lumia 925 camera is definitely known for its low light imaging. So, you know, when, when you're out in the dark and you're taking pictures, you can be rest assured that your pictures are going to be much better than, uh, you know, other phones. So the overall design uh, is phenomenal. It's really convenient. 4.5 inches size is appropriate for single hand use. The glass that pops out kind of looks really nice and uh, it's, it's unique you know it's a Lumia it's a Lumia design and I think they've taken a step forward uh, than most smartphones in that uh, in that aspect so it's only 8.5 millimeters thick which is by today's standards quite thin uh, you can imagine the iPhone 5 being 7.6 millimeters and the s4 being 7.9 millimeters uh, the device is fairly thin so it's a really good looking device, rigid solid build, rounded on every single corner, slimming matte finish at the back, it's slimmer, thinner and more pocketable than the Lumia 920. Uh, perfect for single handed use, you're not going to face any issues in that. But for a flagship device, you know, the, the, the specs seem to be quite mediocre. Uh, it kind of resembles the Galaxy S2 specs, uh, but for a Windows phone it is pretty much able to do everything uh, that's available in the Windows uh, marketplace. The only problem with Windows uh, phones being the marketplace, the app store, uh, to say, is really uh, limited and that kind of restricts you from, uh, you know, buying a Windows phone. And display, as I've already mentioned, it is Super AMOLED, so, you're, so you know, you're going to get really eye-popping colors, but when you're out in, the, in, in bright sunlight, you might have a little problem um, in reading uh, text. Otherwise, viewing angles are sort of nice, uh, you know, not as good as uh, super clear LCDs that we see in, the, in phones like HTC One. Uh, or the iPhone, but uh, you know as you can see the the display angles are quite nice And you can be rest assured that you wouldn't have a lot of problems while using this device 
So that's it, guys. Uh, you know, with beautifully sculpted externals and mid-range specifications on the inside, the device is definitely um, an optimum blend of performance and appearance or aesthetics. So thank you for watching, guys, and do let me know what you think about the the Lumia 925. Don't forget to subscribe.